in the freezing rain has been happening in the Memphis area during the months of November and December in the housing market. If you don't know who I am, I'm Deborah Taylor, a local real estate agent here in the Memphis area. And I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my screen so that we can look at these numbers a little bit closer. I'm gonna go ahead and make this screen a little bit bigger so that we can look at this together. So here we are in the month of November. In the month of November, the total sales in regards to the number of units sold increased 1.8%, or if you round it off, it increased 2%. There were 1,230 units sold during the month of November, as opposed to November 2022, when there was 1,208 units sold. So in November of 2022, you could have purchased a home for $215,000, which is a negative 10.7% change, or if you round it out, a negative 11% change in comparison to the price of the home for November of 2023. The median sales price was $192,000 dollars so you could have purchased a home a lot cheaper in november of 2023 in regards to shelby county let's look at the various counties shelby county fed county and tipton county shelby county there were 13,046 units sold which is a negative 22.2 percent change from November of 2022. Shelby County includes Millington, Arlington, Collierville, Cordova, Bartlett, Lakeland, Germantown, all the various areas, the city areas, Midtown, Downtown, that cup is Shelby County in and of itself. They were down in regards to the number of units, a negative 22 point two percent the overall median price for a home in shelby county also went down a negative 2.4 percent so in november of 2022 in the shelby county area you could have purchased a home for around about two hundred and ten thousand. it went down in this in last year of november 2023 to two hundred and five thousand in the various counties like Fed and Tipton County, they are still pretty much neck and neck in regards to the number of units uh, available. The prices of homes in Fed and Tipton County far exceed moving into the Shelby County area. In Fed County, there were 671 units sold in November of 2023 which meant it went down negative 25.2%. The median sales price for a home in Fayette County in November of 2023 was $358,990. It increased 7.8% or if you round it off, 8%. Fayette County is very grateful during Thanksgiving. They want your cash. In Tipton County, the number of units available in November of 2023 was 808. They went down a negative 22.1% in regards to the number of units sold during the month of November. In November of 2022, Tipton County sold 1,037 units. You could purchase a home in Tipton during the month of November 2023 for $255,000. There's an increase of 2%. During the month of December, the total sales for December 2023 was 1,105. It was a negative 13.2% change because in December of 2022, 
1,273 homes were sold. The median sales price increased during the month of December. It went up 5.3%. So in December of 2023, the median sales price was 200,000. In Shelby County, once again, there's just not enough homes out there in, in Shelby County in regards to the number of units being sold. Again, it went down during the month of December, a negative 21.6%, or if you round it off, a negative 22%. In Shelby County, the number of units sold in December of 2022 was 17,901 in compared to December of 2023 when they sold 14,030 units. The median sales price again went down. My guess is because if there's not enough units available, the number of units that were available were probably not as pricey as those in the past. So in Shelby County, you could have purchased a home during the month of December for around about $203,000. Fayette County, you got to love Fayette County. Fayette County, they don't have enough units, but they're going to keep those prices nice and high. So in the month of December, they sold seven, they had 727 units that were sold, which was down a negative 23.8% or a negative 24%. In comparison to December of 2022, when they had 954 units sold, the, the price of the homes in Fayette County stay high at 6.4% increase. So in December of 2022, you could have purchased a home for around about 334450 but in 2023, you were going to increase, cough up some more money, and pay $355,990. In Tipton County, these counties, they want their money. You, you, you're going to pay to play out there. In Tipton County, there was a decrease in the number of units that were sold. It was a negative 20.9% or a negative 21% if you round it off. In December of 2022, there was 1,113 units sold in comparison to December 2023 when 880 units were sold. The median sales price, if you want a home in December of 2023, was $255,275. Come on and move out in Shelby County where the prices are a lot cheaper. You can get a home around $200,000 if you move it to Shelby County. Now, I wanted to do a little bit different um, number comparison. This is by county for the months of November and December of 2023. In Shelby County, the median sales price in November was $205,000 in comparison to December when the median sales price was $203,000. So in the month of December, the price of homes went down slightly. In Fayette County, in, in November, the median sales price was $358,990 as a compared to December of uh, of 2023, where it was 355990 Again, in the month of December, the price of homes went down slightly. In Tipton County, Tipton went up a little bit. In November, the median sales price was 255000 but you would have to cough up about another $300 if you want to live in Tipton County during the month of December. The median sales price was $255,275. So as you can see, the price of homes in Fayette County is creeping up pretty quickly. Um, and Tipton County is still pretty high. You would think, you know, maybe in some of the rural areas, it wouldn't be so pricey. 
But I believe it's because they know that a lot of people want to live where there's land, where there's opportunities to have farmland or to just build a bigger home, have maybe lesser taxes, but you're going to pay to play in Fayette and Tipton counties. So there it is, y'all. The housing market numbers for the month of November and December. This is part two of a two-part series. We are caught up to date in regards to the numbers for 2023. In a, about another week, sometime next week, I should have the numbers for January. It should be pretty interesting to see how we start off this new year. So until next time, bye, y'all.